we have another power outage. This is pretty much the same area that we ended up with in part of my last power outage video, where um, this whole road almost down to almost down to my road is out. All right, guys, I'm back in my house because we decided to get the bikes instead of walking. So basically, power's out at my school and another elementary school that's on the same grid. I'm trying to get my bike out right now. It's a pretty windy, stormy night. And uh, yeah, that's what's happening. Okay, me and the neighbor Hayden are leaving our house right now to check out the power outage. So my house... Yeah, so our houses here are the last ones on the road that always goes out to be on, if that makes any sense. It's off a separate grid. So this is the last bit of the... Shut up! This is the last bit of the road that's still active as it's fed from down that way. But all of this way, that's a traffic light you can see up there, which has... Dude, shut up! This is the last bit of the... I don't know what I was even saying. Okay, so we are approaching on the fire hall here. Which, the fire hall usually... Which the fire hall only goes out if the road going 90 degrees to the one we're coming up on is out. Which I don't believe it is as the street light is still on. So, the fire department should not have generator on as they're fed off of that road that I'm speaking of. Which if I'm correct, there won't be any lights flashing or generator running over there, which there is not. However, we're gonna continue straight towards one of the elementaries and my secondary school. Okay, we have just passed the fire hall and we are now on our way to that elementary. There's a city hall right there. You can see they've got all their Christmas lights up and we are approaching on the elementary school soon, which the power I would think has just gone off. I haven't checked the website yet. I'll do that once I'm other here or at my high school. I'm not sure yet, but I'll check it at some point here. It looks like there's a car coming behind me. And over there is the elementary school. There is the city hall. Hayden is behind me. So we are gonna pull up to the elementary here. Uh, guys, lock the gates on us. It is currently actually, I should mention, it's Friday night at around 10, 10 p.m. I think. There you might be able to see the modules. There's the school. We're gonna head back around the loop that we usually do. There's the sea hall over there. And we'll go see the portables. Which they have emergency lighting, quite a lot of it on since it just went out, literally just happened, I would assume. Alrighty, we are now at this elementary school and there's not a whole lot to see here so we're going to go down to my high school where uh, we'll be able to see the generator going and well that's probably about it actually but we're going to head down there. We're now approaching my old middle school which as you can see power is obviously on which I knew from the beginning as this one is fed off a separate line. Hayden's current middle school but as I've said, I think I've said this a few times now, we're headed down to my, headed down to my high school, which is just at the end of this road, and then down a trail. So that's the way we're taking. It's a little less windy and uh, quicker than driving the road. 
All right, so off in the distance there is my high school where we are headed. And as you can see, there is some emergency lighting on, which is fed off the generator, but that's about it. Right, Hayden? I want, I want some water. We're in the student parking lot now of my school. And we're up to the school. I don't crash here because I can't see. It's, all you guys hear is wind noise, so I'm sorry about that. So I wasn't necessarily the last Pyro's video, but all it was was wind noise. Now, as is a Friday, there might still be custodians here since this school does have generator power, so they have slightly different um, guidelines to follow as far as staying in the building as leaving. So I'm not exactly sure what it is. I know. I think for the other ones, without generator, they leave if power is stayed out for more than 30 minutes. But I'm not sure how it works for these guys if they have generator. I don't, I don't know, I don't see anyone. That's what I'm doing. I want to do a loop first. We have our generator running supervisory on the annunciator. We're gonna continue to do a loop around. There is the emergency lights on the E house. The E house and field house over there aren't powered by generator so they just have local battery powered emergency lighting it's only the main structure that's powered off generator. traffic lights still have some battery backup it appears this is one of the stairwells all the stairwells have 24 7 lighting which is off generator here we can see into the main atrium. What are you doing? This is my hand. Is that right? Yep. Is that right? continue down the longest side the school has. This is the Wait, you know what that reminds me? I should put a clip in of our greenhouse. I'm in this trades program of the school where it's like a trade sampler program. They show, they basically offer all the different trades to you. And uh, the, the garden department, they got this whole department of the school that is responsible for the garden and they bought this greenhouse it was three grand we built it for them in our trade sampler program where we touch on all the trades and stuff and uh we built it for them and then a few days later it got absolutely destroyed in a windstorm that windstorm didn't seem to have many power outages at least there wasn't one down here but the greenhouse was destroyed which will be coming up on that soon. I'll put a clip in right here of uh, the greenhouse and how that handled it.
here is the turf gym. That's one of the three gyms. This one's got the turf field in it. We're coming up on the back of the field, or the back of the school, sorry, not the field, where we have the warm-up station, also known as the generator. Here are some of the stairwells. Here's where we build the greenhouse and stuff. You can smell the diesel from here, from the generator. Another stairwell. Wood shop. This is where we build the sheds. Here's all the parts of one that we're gonna deliver soon. Metal shop and the hand warmer station. And we're back directly across from the front entrance. What you saying, big boy? There's two bikes there. Oh my god. I'm gonna invest in my gate. You do your thing. I'm gonna invest in my gate. <laughs> Exit signs, something interesting they did here, something interesting they did, which wasn't really necessary, but in the original section of this school, the part of the school built in 2015, they used exit signs with, or I should say ISO exit signs, running man exit signs, with battery backup, even though it's on generator circuit, which was kind of unnecessary, but it has came in handy when that door there is leading to the generator room, which is making all the noise. When that generator has failed, we had a problem a few years ago with the generator when it failed to transfer over. And uh, they were good for that case since they had battery backup too. However, the ones in this new edition, which was like a $40 million edition, which was done, it was completed. It was completed in 2020. That one, they went with AC exit signs, which makes more sense as that's all they really need. However, they have came in handy there. You can hear the generator running. The exhaust comes out right here. Nice and warm. Hayden, what's happening? I investigated the bikes through the exact same bike. That's good. Security system's armed. There's a trouble on it. Silly thing they did here is they didn't put the clock and PA system on generator. So usually that would be lit up, which is just stupid in my opinion. What the hell is he doing? Big boy, what you doing? You just disappeared. Oh my God. Hayden has left. These, each one of these lit up areas is two out of the school's six main stairwells, which are required by code to have 24 seven lighting, which of course is also required to be on generator. Not sure if there's a whole lot mo more to show at my school here. This is about all that's happening. Oh, the greenhouse top.
It is currently 10.40 and power has been out since around 9.40 and uh, our power provider's website is showing that the crew are on their way. However, they won't actually be on site until around, I think they said 11.30. So there's definitely a good little wait until they even look at the issue and then who knows how long until they have power actually back. Dual air intake for the generator. There's one here and one here. I'm not sure which one does what. I know one might vent the room and one vents the generator. I think that one vents the generator and that one vents the actual room. And then right there, that pipe sticking out is the actual exhaust. Hopefully you guys can see that exhaust right there. Put your feet in the grill, climb up, put your hands on that exhaust. It feels so good. What do you mean? What am I doing? It feels good. Climb up that and put your hands like at the end of that. And it blows hot air on you. I know, it feels nice. Okay, I think we're gonna continue our journey around the building. There's not much to see back here. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Am I in okay, we're, con <laughs> we're continuing our bike ride around and we're gonna head to the field house and check out some emergency lighting that the field house has on it. So these are the gyms we're going by right now, which also have 24 seven lighting. That's the library. I hate that place. Just one of the, there's another stairwell. Some other random corridor. So we're going to head to the field house, the house on the field. It's where there's change rooms, showers, and uh, yeah, that's about it. what that noise is, but it's terrifying. Very scary. This is the edge of the field house. This side of the field house, the locks on it are completely screwed up. So where you can actually just stick any key in there. This isn't even the key to this place.
go in there easily without a key or a fob or anything because the locks are all installed, installed wrong where the guard latch isn't actually held back. So I can get in there so easy, but I'm not actually it's not supposed to do that type of stuff, you know. Whoa, buds! There's emergency lights in there. Actually, unless the seals are really good, it looks like they're probably all out. Something just blew up, man. What was that? You heard that too, I'm right? Again. Probably my bike fell over or something. Oh, it better not be falling over. No, it's Definitely a meetup going on. Doesn't show up on camera, but they got this whole like soccer, um, it almost looks like a bus stop. The best way to describe it is a bus stop. It's like this big plastic and metal thing, and they're all tipped over over here in the field. I didn't even hear you. There, there's the lineman right there. I know on one of those poles right there is a, uh, there's a switch where they can open up the line. So I'm guessing they're probably trying to isolate part of the line so they can pick up what isn't, what isn't having a fault on it would be my guess if I had to. I'm sure they've probably opened that. And they're probably gonna go find where the actual fault is. Looks like one of them is way up ahead there. Okay guys, it's now the next morning, Saturday morning around 8 a.m. And I'm headed back down to my school because according to the power company's website, power's still out down there. And at this point, it would have been around, would have been around, we're about 10, about 10 hours into the power outage. And after the last major power outage, where power was out for about half a day, probably about 12 hours down there at my high school, even longer, the generator never got refueled after that. And it was sitting around 30% fuel. So after another 10 hours of that generator keeping the building going, I don't know, I feel like she could be run out of fuel, so that building's gonna be pretty dark. Okay, next day here, I'm back at the fire hall, so this whole road going down this way is still out. I'm stood at the top of the hill here, and there's my school. Its generator is definitely out. Power company is up there doing something, so probably a tree came down up there. Definitely out, generator out. Oh, let's see what we got on here. Portables, trouble. And generator would have a low fuel. Yeah, it's okay. It's low fuel, so like I don't even have any lights at all. No. With, like with, it's the generator's out. So if the generator was working. It was running last night when I was here, but it only had, it was down to like a quarter tank of fuel. You guys definitely can't have your union meeting. It's a battery backup on some of the exits has gone. That means no security cameras either. No.
Oh, you got a little bit of light in here for you. So there are emergency lights, battery ones in here. It must have not been running long ago because it smells, yeah, it I still smell the diesel. Um, Low fuel in here. There is a button on there to silence that alarm. But... Oh, I don't doubt it. Oh, you know what? They just died. They just died because I saw the access points were on two seconds ago. So the, the UPS just called it quits. The fobs might be out now too then, I'm not sure. We might have emergency lights in here still. Looks here like the UPS is, nope. UPS has just died too. Oh boy. Portables, AC fail, NAC zone seven, that's the booster panel, generator trouble, auxiliary trouble, door fan emergency power trouble, AC power, <laughs> holy crap. They might still be on. They might be on their own power supply. I'm not sure. Dead? It'll scan and go green, but nope, nothing. That's weird, it's obviously something still powered up because it's scanning it, but it doesn't actually open. I mean, I guess I have keys on me so I can get in. There's no key on the outside of that one. Yeah, yeah. So to arm it, you could get in the back door or the side door. I'll head down the second floor because that'll be the same as the third and less effort. Bathrooms are pretty scary. Out of light here. <laughs> How does this work? Oh, there's a cord, there's a battery. That is fine. Okay, so I'm sure I did a voiceover. But basically, they were trying to have a union meeting here, but they had to cancel that and go to a different school for obvious reasons. My old middle school was the 
building of choice that they went to. So even once power is going, once power is back on, the fire alarm will still be in trouble until the generator's filled up, which probably at the earliest would be Monday. Fire doors have all dropped. Still pretty in here, even when the power is out. The big ass Christmas tree. Excuse me. No elevators either. This is the most dead I've ever actually been in this school. I've been in it in power outage, but never power outage and no generator. The emergency lighting has now died in the generator room too. We're about 12 hours into the outage exactly. I don't wanna let this door close cause it's dark in here. But um, the beeping is from our low fuel. Emergency lighting. I wonder if the if she's still warm. She's still toasty. Not not hot. Definitely not at run temperature, but it's not cold, so going off in here. Those exit signs have died. That one. And this is why we usually have, you know what? Special occasion, I'm allowed to go in the women's side. This is why the bathrooms are on generator, because uh, they get pretty damn dark. You know what, guys? I peed in that yesterday. Well, I think it will because it's, it's standalone, right? It's like it doesn't usually have power. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just trying to waste the battery. <laughs> Good. Yep. That's bright. This is bright. This is bright. Oh. So the 
Yeah, there's that big shutter that drops down when the power goes out up there. Is there anything interesting up there to see? You can't even take the elevator. How is that? This is brutal. I'm just gonna check out the third floor. So these fire doors, of course, magnets let go. Yeah, let's head up. These signs are AC only in this new edition. I think I mentioned that last night. This is the second floor. Nothing to really see. Ooh, this is pretty scary. No water fountains either. They take power to operate. No vending machines. These fire doors are closed too. Sorry, I'm still going, is it? Oh shoot. Is the fire alarm system down? Oh, you know what that is? Never mind, never mind. That's some really cool notifier does, which I've told people before, and they didn't really understand what I was saying. So with notifier systems, when the power is out, if there's an AC loss, they don't pull the devices, which I'm not sure why they were pulling earlier. Maybe they still pull the detectors. It might be they still pull the detectors. It's just not visible on modules. Take a look once we get this one here. There'll be one outside the elevator. Oh, interesting, okay. So the detectors still pull, but the pull stations don't pull, not, not visually. If I was to pull this right now, it would still go red, but our atrium exhaust fans wouldn't run because there's no generator. So that's one of the reasons you can't have occupancy in here right now. It's pretty dark, you know, uh, the, the addition, third floor. I wish I had that on video. So what did you press? Because it said secure before arming and it had this little icon here, so I get that <laughs> and it just died. That was one button too many? Yeah. Okay. All that power it took to turn on the back lighting, that was... <laughs> but the, the motion still. So like this guy right here, looking right through it, it's, it's not how it's supposed to Okay, so now that guy should be going.
But that guy should have stopped too. Yeah. The hydro guy knows it. I'm interested here if they've got that switch open. I'm guessing they do because they picked up down that way last night. Timmy's there. Yeah, I think, yeah, they got that switch open. Wonder if City Hall's generator's still going. No, this is all out. Oh, shit, okay. Actually, go up to that next one. I'm checking on this elementary here, too, because the electrician I work with just asked if it's out here, which I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, fire alarm's in trouble. Okay, yeah, power's been out here for 12 hours. Uh, I don't feel like walking all the way around. Screw that. Yeah, it's okay. So, yeah, just do the, you can do a little loop. Maybe their generator is natural gas and it just runs indefinitely, I don't know. Yeah. I might not even get that. Looks like that. Yeah, not much to see. It's still going here. Pull those three. There's okay. three switches. They got that. They open that up. Okay, the power came back on at my school around 12, 12 o'clock today. So the power had been out, well, around 15, 15 hours in total of the power outage. Now, had that generator been more full, more than 30%, I think everything would have been fine. However, it wasn't full. It was already at 30%. It was at around 90 91 I believe and then the last power outage took it all the way from 91 all the way down to 30 percent because power had been out that time I think that was around a 12 or 13 hour power outage, almost as long as this one so if that burned that much fuel there's no way 30 percent was going to get it through 15 hours this morning and after the generator died I'm not sure how long before I got there but it was still warm at one point when I filled it so it had ran fairly previously and then the UPS maybe went for another couple hours to keep whatever it was doing going, which was uh, mostly um, servers and switches. Yeah, that's about, that's about it. Security cameras, um, not the PA system though, which makes no sense. Anyways, the power did come back on there. I'm assuming on Monday, they will have the, uh, or the fuel company that we work with. They'll bring their tanker down there, down there and they will 
do the normal annoying process of holding the door open and the generator door open and try and get the fuel in there because it's kind of a silly setup where you have to bring the fuel line off the truck into the building and then pump the diesel into the tank on the generator but it is what it is and then it should be back full as far as everything else the fire alarm had battery backup regardless of the generator so that all went that never that never went down but anyways um yeah so hopefully the generator will get fueled up probably on monday would be my guess and other than that power's back on and alarm system wasn't armed because we couldn't arm it when i left because uh because as soon as we hit one one of the keys on it the it just died <laughs>